Hi everyone, welcome back. Last time I finished up all the mechanical bits I needed to get ready for motion, and this video will be a short one where I'll be getting the motors and limit switches mounted and take it for a quick test run. I'm using inductive proximity sensors to detect when linear bearings are near the end of travel. Inductive sensors don't need magnets like Hall effect sensors and are great at detecting iron and steel. First I have to find the distance they can reliably sense the bearings. For that I used a 9 volt battery to power the sensors and watched as the LED turned on and off. I found using a half inch end mill as a spacer worked perfectly. Now to mount the motors. They are clear path step and direction servos from Technic. They use standard NEMA 34 mounting and simply bolt right on. They just need power and a data connection. Now to just tighten up the coupler and that's it for the motor install. Now I can turn this thing around the right way and get it mostly level. Finally, the motors can be powered up and tuned using the ClearPath software over USB. The software explores the limits of the machine and notes things like resonance and resistance, which it can use to adjust the motor's performance for this particular machine. I was expecting quite a bit more commotion from all the warnings, but it just moved in small steps for about 5 minutes. One final thing, tramming the head. The initial bolt up was actually really good, despite not attempting to get it parallel with the table. It was nearly dead on in the Y axis and about 5 thousandths over 5 inches in the X. A little tweaking of the rotation of the head and that was all it needed to get in line pretty much perfectly. No shims or anything were needed, so I must have gotten pretty lucky in machining. I used the calibration feature of the control software to match the pitch of the screws to the actual distance traveled using my digital calipers.
It's not the most elegant solution, but it worked. But enough of that stuff, let's try it out. I got a piece of nylon something or other as an easy first try. I used the first speeds and feeds I came across in HSM Advisor for nylon with a 2 flute 5 8 inch end mill. It ended up being something about 23,000 RPM, 330 inches per minute, and a depth of cut of 0.1 inches. Success! I'd say that went well. I'm about a thousandth over on size in the X and Y, but I'll look into that later. The half inch end mill shank I'm using as a dowel pin just barely fits in the half inch hole board in the center, so that's good news too. I don't have a good way to measure IDs yet. So that's it. Thanks for watching. What? You want to see something else? Well, I didn't have anything prepared, but okay. We'll just try some hexagons for fun. That actually looks pretty good, uh, aside from all the little fuzzies, but that's more of a recipe issue. Okay, now that's really it. Next up will be air blast and coolant, and we can try machining some metals, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with the build, like or dislike the video if you loved it or hated it, and leave a comment if you got one. Once again, a huge thanks to all the Patreons who are helping make these videos better. Our first milestones reached, we're getting a tripod. Hopefully that'll make a better video experience that we'll all enjoy. So until next time, thanks for watching.